hello guys welcome back to our channel code elevate in the previous video we created post entity and we created new post rest api in our spring boot application and in today's video we will work on our angular application and we will create a page with reactive form and inputs to create the post so let's get started so in our angular application First of all, we need to create two folders inside this app folder. So we will right click on the app folder and we will choose new folder and we will name this folder as pages. And after this, we will right click again on the app folder and we will choose new folder and we will name this folder as service. And we will keep all the components inside this pages folder and we will create the services inside this service folder. Now we need create post component so we will right click on the pages folder and we will open it in integrated terminal and here we will give the command to create the component which is ng g for generate c for component and we will name this component as create post now let's hit enter and as you can see our create post component is ready and we can confirm it by opening the pages folder and we got create post component here now we need to create a route for this new component so we will open app routing.module.ts and in the routes array we need to add another object and in this object we need to give the path and component so let's start by a path and for the path of our create post component we will give it as create dash post now after this we need to give the component which is create post component that's it for our routing file now let's save this file and we will open our app.component.html and after the example spacer span we will add a button tag and for the text we will write create new post now we want when user click on this button we need to redirect him to the create post page and to do this we will add router link is equals to slash create dash post which is the url of our create post component now let's save this file and let's run our application and as you can see our application is up without any errors but before going to the browser we need to add a tag inside this app.component.html and after the toolbar tag we will add a tag which is a router outlet and after this let's close this tag and angular will show all the routing content inside this tag and as you know on the top we have this toolbar so after the toolbar it will show the other content which will be the components now let's save this file and let's go to the browser and as you can see we got a button create new post now let's click on this button and as you can see we got redirected to create post route and for the content we can see create post works which is mentioned here in the html file of our create post component now let's go to the create post dot component dot ts file and here we will create a constructor for this component and in this constructor we need to inject form builder to build the reactive form and after the form builder we need to inject the router to redirect our user to other components and after this we need to inject mat snack bar to show the messages now let's click on this quick fix and let's add all missing imports now after this we need to create a form group and we will name this form as post form and the type of this will be form group now we need to mention the controls for this post form and to do this we will write ng on init method and in this method we will use our post form and here we will call our form builder and we will use group method and inside this group method we need to mention the controls and the first control of our post form is the name and for by default value i will set it as null and for the validators we need to set validators dot required after the name we need to mention a control for the content and we will name this as content and for by default value we will set null 
and after this we need to give validators and the first validator will be validators dot required and for the content we need to give another validator which is validators dot max length and we will set the limit to 5000 now after the content form control we need to mention a control for the image so let's name this as image and for by default value we will set null and for validators we will set validators dot required after the image we need to mention the control for the username and we will name this as posted by and for by default value we will set null and for validators we will set validators dot required and that's it for our post form now let's open our html file and here we need to write the code for the inputs and in the html file we will write a mad card tag and for the class we will give it as card center and in this mad card tag we will add a tag for the mad card content and after this we will write a div tag and in this div tag we will start our form tag and for the form group we will bind it with post form now inside this form tag we need to mention the controls and to mention the controls we will use mat form field tag and for the appearance we will set it to fill and in this mat form field we will write a tag for the mat label and for the text we will give it as name and after the mat label tag we will write a tag for the input and for the form control name we will set name and that's it for the form field of the name now we need to create a form field for the image so let's copy this mat form field tag and let's paste it one time and we will update the label and we will set it as image and after this we will update the form control name which should be image and after the image form field we need to create a form field for the content so let's duplicate this one time and for the mat label we will update it to content and after this we will update the form control name and this should be content as well and after this we need to get the content in the text area so we will replace the input tag with the text area tag and after this let's close this tag as well and for this text area we will add another property which is rows is equals to 5 now after this we need to create a form field for the user so let's copy this image form field and let's paste it here and for the label we will update it to posted by and after this we need to update the form control name which should be posted by and after this let's add a button and for the text we will show create new post and after this we need to disable this button so we will use disable property and we will call post form dot valid and if our post form is not valid then our button will be disabled and now let's go to our ts file and in the ts file we need to add the functionality to get the tags so after the post form we will create an array and we will name this as tags and we will initialize it with empty array now we need to create two methods to add and remove the tags from this array so let's scroll down and here we will write add method and in the params we will accept event of type any and in the body of this method let's create a constant and let's name this as value and we will set the value in it by calling our event dot value and after this we will add or sign and if our value is not present then we will pass empty string and after this to remove the spaces we will call trim method and after getting the value from the event we will write one if condition and in this we will check the value and if we have something in the value then only we will update our tags array so in the body of the if we will call our tags array and we will use push method to insert the data in it and we will pass the value in the param now after passing the value in the tags array we need to clear our input and to do this we will use event and we will call chip input and after this we will call clear method to clear it now with this our add method is completed 
now let's create another method which is remove and in the param of this method we will accept tag of type any which we want to remove and in the body of this method first of all we need to find the index of this tag so we will create a constant and we will name this as index and we will set the value in it by calling this dot tags and after this to find the index we will call a method index of and in the params we will pass the tag after this we will write one if condition and we will check if index is greater than or equal to zero then only we will remove the item and in the if block we will use our tags array and we will call splice method and in the params we need to pass index and one and with this our remove method is completed as well now let's save this file and let's go to our html file and in the html file now we need to create a mat form field for the tags so let's copy this mat form field for the posted by and let's paste it here and after this we need to update the label so we will write tags instead of posted by and after this we will remove this input tag and we will write a tag for the mat chip grid and let's close this tag as well and in this mat chip grid first of all we need to show the existing tag in the array and to do this we will write a tag for the mat chip row and on this tag we will apply ng for loop and after the let keyword we will name the single tag as tag and after this we will mention off keyword and we will mention the array which is the tag and to track the index we will create a variable with the name of i and we will set the value in it of index now after the for loop we will use removed event and we will call a method remove to remove the tag from this mat chip row and after this we need to show the value of the tag inside this mat chip row so we will use the tag variable for that from the for loop and after this to show the cancel button we will use mat icon button and with this our mat chip row is completed now after this mat chip row we need to write an input tag and for the placeholder we will set new tag and for the mat chip input for we will use chip grid which we already gave in this mat chip grid tag and after this for mat chip input token and event we will call add method which we just wrote inside the ts file and with this our html code is completed now let's save this file and let's open our CSS file and in this I will paste the CSS code and you can pause the video and you can copy this simple CSS code. Now let's save this file and let's go to the browser and in the browser let's click on this create new post button again and as you can see we got redirected to the create post and we can see the reactive form for the post where we have the input for the name and after this we have the image input and then we have content text area and after this we have input for the posted by and then we have input for the tags now let's enter one tag and as you can see our create post button got enabled now let's click on this icon to remove this tag and as you can see the tags removed successfully now let's remove the text from the posted by field and as you can see we are getting the error indication and our create new post button got disabled and that's it for this video in the next video we will write the code to collect the data from this form and after this we will call create post api